Hello everyone, this, this is Dr. Jawad. In this video, I'm gonna explain a very, very important concept to people who want to lose weight, diabetics, people have, fat, people have fatty liver, insulin resistant, or just want to clean up the diet but are confused about what carbs to eat. Now, back in the days when I was younger, when I did bodybuilding competition, I had to measure out which carbs are too sugary and which carbs are less sugary, predominantly vegetables. Now, there's two, there's two concepts that I want to explain. One is the glycemic index. The glycemic index measures how fast does the sugar get into your bloodstream. They took a measurement of someone who did fasting for 24 hours and they introduced food items individually to measure how much of that glucose elevates in their bloodstream. Now, you're looking at 100. That was the measure. Now, the important part of the glycemic index Again, with the blood sugar, is how is it going to affect your hormones? Predominantly insulin and cortisol. So again, you're, there are certain foods. So you're looking at the glycemic, glycemic index uh, range, high above 70, medium 56 to 69, and low, lower than 55. Now, the next one is, is the glycemic load. So you have the glycemic index is a measurement of how fast that blood sugar elevates, but the other one is the carb content in the foods because you can measure different foods and have that either work for you or against you. Now, the glycemic load, again, it's the carb content. So what you're going to do, the equation is that you're going to take the, the, the glycemic index, multiply the amount of carbs per serving, and divide it by 100. Now, let me show you over here on the glycemic load and glycemic uh, index chart. Now, again, the highest one is the potato. The potato has 104 glycemic range, and the glycemic load is 36. So basically, this means, again, how, when you have to take a potato, this is really going to spike your insulin levels because the blood sugar is going to elevate. So this is a really high-carb type of food. Carrots. Believe it or not, carrots. I was shocked, too. Carrots, it's very sugary. It's 71 glycemic index. This is when you have sugar. Again, this is why people who are trying to lose weight, diabetics, insulin resistant, fatty liver, carrots are not good because it's a lot of sugar. It has 71 glycemic index. Glycemic load is two. There's not that much of a quality carb in a carrot. Then it goes to watermelon. So what happens is that, again, <clears throat> watermelon glycemic index, 72 times the amount of carbohydrates per serving divided by two, and then again, this is where they, this is where they get the glycemic load. 4.2, so they kind of round it to a lower number. Okay, so this is the equation. Bananas, 62 glycemic index, very sugary. Bananas are very sugary foods. So the glycemic load is only 16. So if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to fix your fatty liver, if you're trying to lower your insulin levels, those foods here are not, are not the best choice for you. So what's best, what's the best choice? This is why vegetables are phenomenal because vegetables typically will measure off to about 10 on the glycemic index and about one on the glycemic load. All I do, vegetables, phenomenal with antioxidants, help clean up the liver pathways, the gut. So again, if you're confused on what to eat, this is why the safest route is always veggies. Now, why does this all matter? Okay, so in a measurement, it's, it measures a lot because on the carb scale and the hourly scale, so you have fasting blood sugar. So the, the safest graph is this graph right here because when you take in foods, you're not secreting a lot of insulin for, prolo for long periods of time. So you're not having that sugar spike and that sugar drop. So then we have another one, a more elevated carby food. So what's going to happen, you're going to have the increase in blood sugar. So yeah, insulin is going to be released. And then what's going to happen is going to drop severely. So the, the shock to the body is intense. So then this is where you get the elevated cortisol level. Because every time we have too low blood sugar because sugar drops, cortisol has, the body gets a shock to the system. So it releases cortisol, okay, to, as a shocker. So then when you have a really high sugary food, you get a high sugar spike, and then you get, so you're hyperglycemic, and then the sugar drops, you get hypoglycemic, which triggers off the adrenal response because the adrenal glands, this is your fight, or, fight flight, or flee response, and it's going to increase, it's going to release cortisol to elevate that blood sugar more. 
Okay, so this is, this is why having high sugary foods is bad for you. So this is why something like a low glycemic index, low gly, uh, glycemic load is healthier for you. Now again, why does this all matter? Females, it matters to the women because why? Because it increases your chance of PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Why? Because you're going to have elevated insulin levels. Or you're going to have high, high levels of cortisol levels, which progesterone makes cortisol. So this is why women are, who, have, who are stressed out, who have increased cortisol levels, they're more estrogen dominant. And this is why they have increased breast tenderness. This is why they're moody. This is why they have poor digestion. This is where it slows down the thyroid. Okay, because you're, not, you're throwing off that estrogen progesterone ratio balance. Now for men, what happens with men with too much insulin released, when, me, when we have too much insulin release, we have a conversion, we have an enzyme called aromatase. Okay, the aromatase enzyme. Aromatase enzyme converts our testosterone to estrogen. And when we have too much estrogen in our system, this is where we have the fat deposition. Okay, so this is where for males, this is where increase of sugary foods will make us fat. Okay, so again, in order to be healthy, understand the glycemic index and the glycemic load. Best bet, vegetables always have a low glycemic index and a low glycemic load. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please share it with a friend. Please hit the like button down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. Hey, it's, over the last couple of years, my YouTube channel has grown tremendously. And I can only appreciate it, the viewers who subscribe. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube please hit the subscribe button to get the first up-to-date videos, or you could always Google my name, Dr. Janan Jawad, and you could go to my JDoc Real Minute page. Again, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get the most up-to-date videos, and thanks everybody who's watching. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.